This is a quick video to show you how you can make a button to select all of your controls and key all of your controls. So um, the good thing about this, a good thing about this rig is that the controls are all um, curves, nerves curves. So um, I'm going to go to the top view and let's just get him more in frame there. And I'm going to, um, in my pick mask here, I'm going to uh, turn all objects off and just turn on curves. And then uh, I can select all of these, and it's just going to pick nerves, curves, and you know, you can see it didn't pick anything else. Now, there is one little catch to this, which is that because the, um, you've got IK on for the feet and the hands. If you were to switch to FK, those curves would not be in this selection. So um, if you decide to switch to FK, you'll need to add those to the selection. But if you stay IK the whole time, then this will be sufficient. So I'm going to open up the script editor and um, you'll see, I'm just going to make the text larger. You'll see it says select dash r, and they have very long file names because they were imported from another file. Uh, probably they were imported from a file called I controlled file, and then and again imported from export for delete files or something like that. So that's this very long prefix to the name, which could be why your um, the button to do that is not working. So um, got this really long set of names. And that is all your controls. So I'm going to triple click on this, which will select the whole line, uh, Control C for copy, and uh, I'll paste that here. And um, I don't really have to do that, but I'm. Um, so now I'm going to uh, again triple click on that and middle mouse drag that up to my shelf, any shelf. I'm going to use the advanced skeleton shelf, and you see it made that little icon right there. Um, if you want, you can name that, but let's do that next. So um, with all of those still selected, if I, uh, and I'll, I just clicked on the top here, so I wasn't still in the script editor, otherwise it's going gonna, gonna to type in there. I just clicked on this gray right here. I can hit S, and you can see it says set keyframe, and let's just get this full size. It said set keyframe with a couple flags. These things with dashes in front of them are called flags. And then it lists again all of those things. So I will triple click on, whoops, here it is. Triple click on this line, middle mouse drag it up. And make sure I choose Mel. Okay, so those are my two new buttons. So now I'm gonna click here, go into shelf editor, and um, scroll down here. So this is the first one I made is the select one um, and I'm just gonna, you need a really short name so I'm gonna do SEL um, and let's see if that shows up. So that one says SEL for select and um, just to go back in there, shelf editor, go to the bottom one and I'll just call this key or we could see if we if key all fits, will that fit? Yeah, that fits, great. So now, um, if I go here, say, let's test it, and it did not work, or maybe it did work, and we don't see the key tick. Well, for some reason, we're not seeing the key tick there. So let's troubleshoot this. I'm going to open up my script editor again. Um, I'm just going to clear all of this out of here right now. Um, we can do edit, clear all. And let's middle mouse drag this back in here. Oh, I must have dragged the wrong thing there. So that's okay. We'll just do it again. We'll select everything. You can see it selects all that stuff. Um, let's just uh, click up here, S to key it all. And there is that line there. I'll just triple click on that. Middle mouse drag it up here, Mel. I'll um, right mouse click on that one and delete it. And then I'll go 
can I rename it from here too? Edit? Oh, even easier. Um, I haven't done that before. Oh yeah, here we go. Shelves, and then key. Oh, anyone? Okay. So I just must have made a little mistake when I did that. That's okay. Let's go here in KL. Great. And I'll do a quick test. Uh, I'll just you know rotate a whole bunch of these at once, and then hit key all, and then we should see it. Yeah, everything seems to be keying and working. So that is how you can make your own manual um, buttons to help you select all of the controls and key all of the controls. I hope that helps.